Now you guys have a um, uh, a book coming out, don't you? Yeah, yeah, uh, on the 29th. Nice. Now tell me, tell me about it, and, and tell me, you know, tell me about your contribution. Well, I'm one of the uh, expert authors uh, for the book. This is the uh, second edition for the band, um, the HBCU, and it's just accounts of just you know stories and and experiences that you know we've all had in you know HBCU programs. I'm sure we have similar stories. But uh, it's going to be great to hear, you know, what people from Norfolk have to say in Southern and Fam, and of course Prairie View, you know. So it's going to be a very good read, man. I, I would advise anybody that, you know, that for the culture, like just take a look, man. You know, and see, we really make this this music go around, man. It's a lot of us that's involved with so many things in music, and I always tell people, you know, you don't have to be the star to go pro. Like you can go pro and be behind the scenes. Like it's so many HBCU graduates that push the buttons that make all this stuff work. Right, right. Now, um, if you look back at all the artists that you've worked with, what's a habit or what's like the secret sauce that you can kind of go with all of them and say, this is why all of them are great? Like you got some people that are just so professional. And you got some people that just are always on time. Some people have that tireless work ethic. What can you see that's a common thread between these successful artists? I think all of what you said, um, you know, I, I've I've watched Beyonce, you know, be the first person there before we get there. And then thereafter we leave, you know, um, and with her children around and her being a mom and, you know, a friend and Sierra, same way. You know, I see her, I fly in, you know, to California and she's already at rehearsal. I'm getting picked up heading into rehearsal. She's already there sweating like she's been there all day, you know. <laughs> so, I mean. This it's a it's a it's a hard industry, and people expect a lot from you. And the beauty of it is, you know, we rehearse like literally for months for Coachella, only for two hours. You're right. You know, so right. people don't they don't they don't see that you know maybe your stomach hurting or you know you got a headache or your girlfriend tripping at home or you know the light bill due or mama sick and you still got to put that show on. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of pressure, and sometimes it, it does bust the pipes, but. Most of your strong artists and those stars that you talk about, you know, they, they rise to, you know, to the top and, and kind of work through adversity. Nice. Where can people follow you, L.A.? Oh, man. You know, my handle UCLA, Y-O-U.C-L-A. That's YouTube, Instagram, you know, Facebook, all that. UCLA, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Y-O-U.C.L.A. Now, for the HBCU person that wants to wants to get into music, and if you look back and say, okay, I would have, this is the exact path I would have taken. What would you tell them on how to, what path to take or follow your heart? Give me, give me something that you would, that you would advise to the new up and coming people that want to get a chance to work with a Beyonce or a Sierra. Um, I would say, and I always leave with, there's a lot of Michael Jordans that never made it to the league. And it's, um, it's, it's a dog-eat-dog dog kind of industry, man. I mean, my path, um, I'm glad I did go to school. Now, if I would have went straight to Atlanta, you know, out of high school, I probably would have gotten far, you know, with experience. But when those slow months come, like when COVID hit, nobody was working. So all that performing was shut down. But I had two degrees to fall back on. So I would say, you know, not saying you have to go to college, but at least have, you know, plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. And I always expect that nobody owes you nothing. And if you're in the room, make sure you're in the room. I always try to control my my situations, chess moves, you know, never checkers. And in a way of not being arrogant, but just letting you know, hey, I'm here. Like, I, I want you to know I'm here and I'm ready to go. Yes, sir. UCLA, good talking to you. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Likewise, brother. Anytime. <laughs> Anything else you want to want to leave with us? Oh, man, you know, God bless HBCUs, man. I'm glad these athletes are starting to go to our HBCUs, you know, and um, let's let's keep music alive, man. Let's, let's get it back right, back from elementary on up to college, man. You know, fine arts weren't, you know, they run the world. And a lot of your CEOs for Fortune 500 companies come from the fine arts background. So I don't, I don't want to forget that. School is cool, you know. I always, school is cool. You can do it. That, that is so true, especially at an HBCU. Good talking to you. Enjoy the rest of your summer, LA. Likewise, brother. Right. Talk to you soon.
All right.